Chris also manages me now, by the way. Heads up. Hey, it's David Campbell here from Today Extra. Thanks for watching. Now, I'm also the host of Carrots by Candlelight. This New Year's Eve, myself and Brooke Boney will be here. Let's go through some of my old Instagram feed. This could be scary. Oh my God. That is like, yeah, that's an old school filter. Okay, that's Christmas in Terrigal. And we went away for a holiday with Leo. And yeah, remember when we used to use like, it was another like filter thing. It was like really old school Instagram filters, but little Leo. Oh, he was so sweet back then with his little spiky hair like Rod Stewart. I miss those days. <laughs> okay, that is 1997 on Broadway shooting for my friend Stephen Mosher did that shot. Standing in the middle of Times Square, in fact on the street in Times Square for my album Taking the Wheel, which blazed up the charts to number 200. Okay, yeah, so we went to a Doctor Who festival with Leo and Matt Smith came out and I was allowed to go backstage because I was interviewing one of the cast members and Matt Smith completely ignored me and went over to Leo and was like, G'day young fella. And because Leo had a little prop and he took Leo to a piano and just sat there and talked to Leo and played the piano and I was so flabbergasted about how incredible Matt Smith was with children and his piano playing was remarkable. Leo has also met Peter Capaldi and I've met, I think I've met six doctors so far. Haven't got the whole set yet. Ah, oh, Sonia and I, when we used to do skits, we used to have a, my God, we laughed doing that one too. So that is, was that Rosie and Sophia Grace, I think, from Ellen? And that happened and one of our team members said, what if we dressed you guys and they got these big settees and giant microphones so we looked like we were doing the Ellen thing and they cut it in with Ellen and just Sonia, and so it's like, I'll play the one that doesn't speak. So I had to just learn the Nicki Minaj rap and do the whole, oh, it was just so much fun. My God, we had such laughs. We were crying with laughter. Look at how close Sonia and I came to meeting a royal family member, I mean, Meghan Markle. But we met our favorite. We met Donna and Lewis Litt. We didn't go mudding with those two members of the cast of Suits, but I was always team Donna anyway. I was never really a Rachel Zane girl. I like Meghan, but Rachel saying, eh, not so much. Team Donna all the way on suits. Yes, yeah, so when we realized that we were having twins, when I convinced my wife to have one more child, to have a brother or sister for Leo, turns out we got both. And what better way to announce it but with the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito movie, Twins, because we are twins. So we were wondering, how is everyone going? How's Kim doing? Um, what? Okay. I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how everyone's doing. In. Hello, Courtney, have you have we lost you? That is Sonia and I, the gift that keeps on giving there. That is Chloe Kardashian interview with us. Now, to put it in context, this is post Kim and Kanye being robbed, I think the week before in Paris. And we were like, we have to ask her. So we had a lot of talking about it. And I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. So we did it and she, what looks like she blanks me because someone walks into the room, one of her PR people, so she just goes like that. And she, we had to cut to a break and it was this whole hullabaloo. We thought, well, that's it, we've lost her. And you know what? She went, told off a PR person, came back, finished the interview and also talked about Kim and Kanye and thanked everyone in Australia for giving them some well wishes. However though, it goes viral everywhere. It's on TikTok all the time, I get tagged. And I also think it was in her 40th birthday package from her sisters that Sonia and I are in that package they had at their own private party. So we're part of the Kardashian clan now. My Instagram account is just about fun. It's about remembering things that are fun for me. It's about either sharing memories of my family or memories of people that I love. So for me, Instagram is a place to go to which should be fun. I don't like it to be too political. You can go to Twitter or if you still want to go to Twitter for that. But for me, Instagram is about having light, fun, relatable moments. Don't forget Christmas Eve, Carols by Candlelight, Vision Australia presented with them and Amy. Uh, with Brooke Boney and myself, there's so much to look forward to this year. All your favourites are back. There's a whole bunch of new favourites too. We got some surprises up our sleeves as well as Santa. See you there.